Yes, we're out here in um, Thailand. No, I'm sorry. Vietnam. Vietnam. We're out here in Vietnam. And one of the things we're going to do today is go to the uh, War Monument Museum. It's pretty cool. They have a whole lot of war facts and everything in there that, stay, that goes way, of course, way back to when everything had happened. So it's a really good popular spot to come and see. And we're going to go ahead and see it today. So you guys come along with us. We're excited that we're here. We are ready. Just even coming in and seeing the actual tanks and the helicopter. And you're like, oh my God. Like, you know, you actually get to see it firsthand like this. I've never seen a tank up close like this. Have you? Yeah. Sunny days, sunny days, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, the way it feels like it's been a freaking decade. Sorry, don't come because I'm going to be on. Oh, you know what this makes me think of? When we went to the Navy base. That's what I'm saying. This is what it's making me think of. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of cool to get like the na like the military aspect of things in Vietnam, knowing so much history that he has. Okay, guys, we are officially inside. It was 40,000 dong, I believe that's what their money is, to get inside, which is, I'm not too sure if that's in dollars. I'll put it down there for you guys. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and walk around and take a look at these big old tanks and some of these flighter jets and everything else. Yeah, I really like this one. It's pretty cool. Even, even covered up to what, 20 meters, 30 mm -hmm. meters? Mm -hmm crazy yeah really cool piece of equipment that they use at that time and then just seeing all of this back here like you can see the force okay so we finally got in and they had an audio tour so we went and got this and when you look at the little information thing it said all you need is just like your id any any form of identification and you can go and do the audio tour the second we said okay here's the identification then they're like turn the card oh, sorry turn the card around you actually need to pay for each one and it was pretty much like a bait and switch and we didn't appreciate the bait and switch because this person advanced we can tell you from the beginning instead of trying to back up but anyway we decided we might as well just enjoy the full experience. from the bats, y'all. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, going through that, it was devastating. It, well, going through that, it makes me, before I can say I didn't fully, fully know all the details and too much. No, 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 my eyes just... Okay, before I would say I really didn't know like the more in-depth information about the Vietnam War, but now being able to actually go read it and hearing all about it, it makes me just realize the war was 100% senseless, and at least from, let me, how can I put it like this? All I can say is the reason why the war started was to recolonize the country, which is in the 60s, like you're really trying to recolonize a country? But anyway, it was devastating to just go through, go doing the whole museum and just hearing the stories of everything that happened to everybody. I will say though, I know I've seen, most likely everybody has seen the videos of the actual bombing, but being able to see the, the actual pictures and how it affected the people, it's just, it's hard, you know? It's hard to see it, and the way they tortured the people was just despicable. But all in all, it's good, like I said, it's good to know your history so it doesn't get repeated. Representing the sacrifices um, in the past, and then now it represents you praying for peace. When you hit the bell. Yeah. Good time, time. Okay, here I am, everyone. Gonna bang this. One time only. Look at here. 
<laughs> okay, go ahead. I'll 